Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and a game between Yumiko and Samdon here on Death Trap. This is going to be a 1v1 matchup, human versus night elf. As we see, um, I believe this is Yumiko, yes, Yumiko spawning as the gray human player. Meanwhile, Samdon spawning as his customary anti-human night elf. Now, if you guys don't know, normally Samdon does choose to be a human player in any matchup except for a mirror matchup in which he switches to night elf now we'll see what the strategies will be in this human versus night elf matchup samdan no slouch in the overall game and very very well known in and outside of china as we are going to see some ancient of war creeping now based upon these locations Yumiko has a very strong advantage as he could try and disrupt this altar of um wait what is this altar um, ancient of war yeah I was gonna say altar of kings ancient of war from creeping out this particular six three two two creep camp this is gonna be very interesting if he's actually able to pull this off here and there's also some destructible rocks here which I don't think there's actually anything behind here. Um, we'll have to wait and see um, as I don't cast many games here on Death Trap. We are going to be going into an Archmage. We'll see if it is going to be that typical Demon Hunter. No, it is not. As we are seeing an Altar of Elders being placed down a little bit later. This does normally indicate that we will be having a Tavern Hero hiring someone from that tavern it takes a little bit longer than it as as opposed to building up that altar of elders and then training up a hero but overall it does save you a little bit of time as you don't have to worry about training that hero that hero is instantaneously out so you can actually delay the altar so far we are going to see one footman oh yumiko getting caught in a very bad position losing a footman straight up there that is not what you want to be seeing now wisp is also going around to make a do a little bit of scouting as an archmage is already creeping out what i believe to be a green creep camp not calling in militia just quite yet now what hero will it be it will in fact be the beast master a beast master very very strong early on that's going to be a lot of piercing damage and we'll also see if yumiko gets up an arcane tower if he does, it will pretty much shut down any harassment that Samdan does try to do. Ancient of War now ready to go. And this is much more um, similar to, say, an Archmage creeping with Water Elementals. But this time having an Ancient of War as a giant tank as well. All right, you're going to see that Ancient of War tanking a lot of that damage. What is that Archer doing besides taking a lot of damage here? As we are going to see a fight now come into play. Slow now being cast. Perhaps Samdan not realizing what a bad situation he's currently in. Or perhaps not knowing or knowing that Yumiko is coming in with a lot of militia. Squirrel now taken down. Apparently tripping up a Beastmaster is not a smart thing to do. If you are a squirrel, as footmen are now looking to come in. Ancient of War down to 22 hit points. Now down to 23. Oh, it may actually get taken down by the creeps. Archmage may come in. And Yumiko may get a quick, quick victory here on Death Trap. Beastmaster now coming back here. It looks like the footmen and the militia are going to go ahead and try and surround this Moonwell. Moonwell will pretty much be depleted before any of the Moon Juice could be drink or drunk, I assume. Beastmaster now quickly coming in and now footmen are going to be trying to engage. There are peasants here and one footman may get taken down. Yes, one long arrow in the back. A footman does get taken down as we see that the Moonwell is on auto heal. So far, it looks like Yumiko it may be overpressing himself. He did not actually build any towers with with that uh, with all of those militia which was a big surprise here but then again with the sheer number of archers that Samdan is showing towers may not have been that good of a choice either beastmaster down to 105 some odd hit points now drinking a little bit more moon juice ancient of wars and ancient of wonders trying to come into production as the archers quill beasts now battling it up against footman and water elemental the Beastmaster, dangerously low on hit points, needs to drink some Moon Juice here in just a second. As we now see an Archer does survive that final hit from those Footmen, still attacking even further. The Water Elemental trying to put in some pressure. Now, what is Yumiko going to do? Yumiko, I believe, needs to retreat at this point. He cannot continue this pressure. He's not going to be able to deal that much, especially with an Ancient of Wonders. And as more trees are added... It's going to be better and better for Samdan as he's going to have defender's advantage. I cannot think of a better advantage for Night Elf 
in, as a defender's advantage when the buildings start smacking smacking you as well. All right, Archmage opting to do a scroll of town portal. That was a bit interesting. Actually going through 350 and gold and now going to be resetting and repeating that strategy. This time coming in with, with Militia once more. And what is going to be happening? All right, I don't believe Samdan will actually be ready for this as the Archmage footmen are going to be coming back over the top you can see that the lumber mill has already been established gold now trying to be added here as the militia are going to get into position in just a moment archmage does not even have brilliant aura but somehow has 200 mana at this point and now dropping in some um dropping in some water elementals all right huntress footman now trying to battle it out one huntress trying to get away one uh, Moonwell already taken down as the Huntress now in a little bit of a trouble. You can see that the Dust of Appearance was already used and the Huntress unable to hide. Footman now with Defend and Yumiko coming in strong. Defend Footman Archmage with Water Elementals. I cannot imagine a better unit combination for Yumiko at this point. Beastmaster sitting at level 2 does have Claws of Attack. Will it be enough as we're going to see perhaps an Archmage get um, a final shot off on an Archer? More Footmen still coming in. The Archmage trying to get in in two more shots. It looks like one more shot will be... Nope, it's going to need one more shot there. And the Archers are actually dealing a lot of damage here. Another set of Scout Towers are being added. The Ancient of Wonders is not picking its uprooting itself either as we now see footmen attempting to take down the ancient protector in the back here all right the footmen do have defend and the quill beast now taking a lot of damage it looks like one of those ancient protectors will get taken down archmage looking to come in in a very dangerous situation the quill beast could easily just turn around as another ancient protector gets taken down Archmage playing it very, very unsafe at this point. You can see that the Beastmaster is currently low on hit points. Where is it going to go? Perhaps right next to that Moonwell. Get some more Moon Juice. And that Beastmaster is down to 86 hit points. 87. We can see that the Ancient of Wonders perhaps should be uprooting at this point. One Guard Tower is up. And the Bear looking to tank a lot of that damage. So far, a second Guard Tower up. A third Guard Tower now up as well. Peasants are on auto repair keeping these buildings alive as they're getting destroyed and the archer as and bear may actually be able to do enough damage here arch archmage now seeing that level two does have brilliant aura will be able to drop in more water elementals and yumiko going to fall to a human tower rush essentially as yumiko did a tact oh sorry samdan is gonna fall as yumiko did a tactical retreat in order to um, come back in over the top heal up all of his units and, and buy himself time as Samdan was low on hit points after trying to take out an aggressive creep camp. Footman now trying to come in. We do have some glaive throwers. Those glaives going to get taken down in a matter of seconds though. As the footman now looks saying, you know what? All we need is wood. Or sorry, and all the peasants are saying all we need is wood. And they are going to harvest wood and then use it inside the, for those guard towers. All right. Huntress. Still battling it up, chasing after some lower hit point units. Huntresses are falling here. It looks as though Samdan is going to have to force to give up the GG. Yumiko playing extremely well in this matchup. And there you have it. Yumiko taking the game. Game 1 in this human versus night elf. Yumiko beating out Samdan with a strategy I'm sure Samdan has used quite often in the past. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game one.